Yo, what's up out there, y'all? It's that Saturday. That eve of that Saturday before Christmas Eve. Everybody doing that last minute shopping, man. My topic is, what the fuck is up with these Instagram hoes? These young chicks on Instagram, live, fucking dancing and shit, showing off in a bra and panties. Young girls, man, I'm like, what the fuck? Everybody's fucking advertising, even these single mothers too. They on there advertising, trying to get the most likes so they can actually get the most simps. So, you know, it's Christmas time and they don't have the money to, uh, to buy themselves a gift. So, you know, uh, it's fucking stupid, man. These girls don't care. The ones that are with the most likes get fucking, it's like competition. It's not like us guys, we're in competition with each other. But these females, they're like in competition against each other. So when they go on you when they go on fucking Instagram, YouTube, whatsoever, you know, no uh <laughs> it's like they'll blow up. They'll just get the most likes. I'm saying, who got the best videos and shit, you know? And next thing. And he's starting to get popular now, so somebody out there can go pick him up for a video shoot or even become one of those, um, you know, those dance girls to be on the videos. So, ah, uh, man. Technology is getting better and better and better and better. Right now, I'm thinking about investing into a better phone, but I'm not. I'm gonna just stick it out with my Boost Mobile J7 perks. I'm just gonna stick it out for now until I decide on buying another phone to do my YouTube vids on. But for now, these Instagram hoes need to stop. It's never, it's never anything positive or anything educational on Instagram or YouTube. There's some, there's some stuff out there that I can actually find. You know, tips and stuff. Tips and tricks, mostly for my cars or household household stuff or mainly, um, you know, videos of how to do this and how to do that. You know, just like going on YouTube when you need something, you know, to do it yourself. Not hoe it yourself. Not hoe it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Plant your phone up. You know what I'm saying? Try and get the best angle, get the best shot in, make sure the lighting is good so that she can take off, you know, so she can go in the bathroom or in the bedroom, put on one of the best, sluttiest, skinkiest outfits to put on, and then, you know, make sure shit is right because, you know, they can't really on there, you can't really. Sh expose their vaginas ass cracks or their fucking nipples but the nipples can be covered it can be a see-through it's all right it can be see-through panties it's all right you can have i mean you're gonna have your fucking boobs out to a certain point where almost everything's almost exposed it's all right I'm saying you can be the the biggest chick on there. No, no. <coughs> Most many single mothers. <coughs> when you know your ass is, you know what I'm saying. When your ass is big and your titties are small, but your stomach is fucking big, then you know something's wrong there. If your stomach is bigger than your titties, you know that's you know, and you ain't got no ass, there's something wrong there. If you got big ass titties and no ass. That's what I, that's what I normally see most of the time. I'm saying something going wrong. Don't just go to the fucking Dominican Republic or down to Florida and shit. Do that whole shit so you can get an ass lift, your titties done, and your tummy tucked. 
that's the easy that's the most easiest skankiest easy way out that shit is only for those who really need it the most i'm saying who really need it the most in order to you know so they can have an easy life man it's getting stupid man it's it's like the eve of christmas eve right now and these hoes are out here shopping they out here trying to put on the newest J's. Yo, <laughs> I'm Ricky T. I mean, yo, Instagram is entertaining, but yo, these Instagram hoes, they don't care who, who's watching. They can be their own parents, cousins, brothers, sisters, or anybody that's close to them in a family watching them doing this shit. And they don't say nothing, but they're gonna say something to them. Or even blow them, or blow their asses up at the dinner table, and put that shit out there on the table. Like, yo, this is what Kiki's doing right now on Instagram. This is what I saw her doing. I was like, wow, that's our Kiki. Oh shit, you know, that would come out of fucking like a like a like a six seven year old's mouth. And if everybody around the dinner table be like, what? And like, our Kiki's on Instagram being an Insta hoe, showing off. And shit like that. So you never know. I don't. I mean, I haven't been on the other, on the guys' side and see what the you know. I mean, see what the guys actually post out. Most of the the guys I see that post shit out on Instagram, it'd be like you know, it can be like a new pair, new pair of J's or LeBrons, you know, um, jewelry, clothes, cars, mod, you know, what they did to their car modif modifications and shit like that. Yo, man, it is crazy. So, gents, Instagram is like, it's like to me, it's an up and down thing. But you meet a lot of good people on there. You get to talk to people from all around. But watch out, man. Those chicks out there are putting out, putting a business out. Like it's okay to do so. That's why you see a whole bunch of them on Instagram. Or other words, Insta ho. Uh, Facebook and shit. Even those posting websites like Backpage. Oh, they're all over Backpage, man. I go on there just to look, and it's just like, damn. These chicks is like fucking damn it, 15 years old, posting up on Instagram selling their ass. You know what I'm saying sometimes it's just it's not worth going on. I mean, hey, it's eye candy. Can't you know? And no one can stop stop you from doing that. It's eye candy, but I'm going that shit just to fucking respond to a chick. You know what I'm saying? It's prostitution, straight up. Same thing on Craigslist. They pull they post shit up on there too. Ain't nobody ain't nobody dating no more. The only dates that's going on is like car dates or get a fucking hotel room for four hours. Get it off. You pay her the money and shit. You know what I'm saying? She give you the time of day. She gave you some, you know what I'm saying? Some crappy ass sex whatsoever. You go back home to your wife or girlfriend. You straight up kiss her on the lips after you ate, after you ate the chick's pussy at the hotel room and shit. And like it's okay because your wife ain't doing it good like, like the back page hoes. Like I said, it's the hoe. It's a good spate. I mean, it's entertaining, but sometimes it's just, you don't want to fucking just waste the time, man. So, yo, I'm Ricky Tice. I'm out.